This will be the disassemble process of the gun. So we have our MRC, or what's acting like our MRC. Again, has our PPE, what we'll need. It says we need safety glasses and latex gloves. This has a tools requirement. So when you have our tools, in this little green ammo can, this should be normally located on the front side of the gun mount. We open this up, and we have a T-striker that we'll be using, and a spindle extractor we'll be using as well. So, first step says put on your gloves and then your glasses. So put our gloves on. And then our glasses. Now it says, ensure the weapon is clear and safe. Refer to pre-fires, steps A through F for guidance. And we just did a pre-fire check. If you have any guidance, go back to the pre-fire to, to learn how to clear and safe it. So, got our gloves on, got our uh, eyes on. Now it says, move cotter pin, like so, and slide bushing off, like so. Now, there is a warning here. It says, breech block is extremely heavy, followed by a caution. It says, once crankshaft is removed, the breech block will fall. And be very mindful of that. So, warnings are safety features for us. Cautions are safety features for the gun, so no damage happens to the gun. So, it says, using left hand, grab onto your crankshaft. With right hand, reach under to ensure you can catch that breech block. It says, pull on your crankshaft. until your breech block and your crankshaft arms fall off. Set aside our breech block for a second. Now it says use spindle extractor, place on the right side of the gun into the extractor lever, spinning in a clockwise manner. Once you can't spin no longer, pull away from the gun, ensuring the spindle comes out. Now we'll dig our hands in and remove our extractors. That's our tractor assembly. This is how you take the tractor assembly apart. Now we're going to go back to our breech block. We're going to turn it to the side. It says remove outer cocking lever. You pull right outside your outer cocking lever. And it says, push on your sear to ensure the inner cocking lever falls out. And once you pull on that sear, the inner cocking lever falls out. You have your inner cocking lever. And then you'll pull your sear and sear spring out from the breech. It's your sear and sear spring. Now we'll use our T-striker. to push into our fire pin back cover. We'll push in and we'll turn counterclockwise until the pressure is released from our fire pin back cover. Now we'll tilt the breech block over and the firing pin and fire pin spring will fall out. That's your firing pin, firing pin spring, and that is a full disassemble of the Mark 11 Mod 2 saluting battery.